AITA for leaving a family vacation after my dad yelled at my partner. So I am, M37, and dad turned 70 and made a big deal about having all of his children accompany him on a trip to Alaska to celebrate. He also made it clear he also meant my partner, F26, included on the two-week trip. We make significantly less money than my folks and my partner got a new job so to make this happen they had to take unpaid leave. It seemed very important to them and we knew it would be stressful due to previous interactions but decided to be team players. Anyway, the second day of the trip we were sitting on the porch and my brother, 34, and sister-in-law, 29, brought us a bottle of wine from the country they live in. We had previously decided to not drink around my folks cause things tend to escalate, but everyone seemed chill so we had a glass of wine with everyone. My brother and dad started talking about politics, and my dad brought up Amy Klochabar, the senator that got caught yelling and throwing a stapler at a staff member. My dad was ranting about how she got disqualified for stuff. My partner chimed in saying, it's never okay to yell at people. My dad then stood up, started pointing at her yelling. You don't know what you're talking about. You've never been in a management position. At which point, I stood up, separated him from my partner, and asked if she was okay. She said no, and went to our room. I went with her. I came back up and asked my dad to go on a walk. He refused and demanded to talk to my partner. I said, are you going to apologize and tell us how this won't happen again? He said no, and said my partner triggered how am. I said then, no, they don't want to talk to you and went downstairs. At this point my sister-in-law, my mom and my brother all came down and demanded my partner talk to him. Mind you, he and everyone else continued drinking. She said no. It got to the point that we realized that my partner was being blamed so we booked tickets the next morning and left. Since then, we've had no contact but an angry voicemail from my mom about how I haven't talked to them and an email I sent saying I don't have anything to say until we get an apology.